my channel, Bucket List Homestead. My name is Lynn, if you're new here. Today is going to start um, some videos I'm going to be making, duplicating some of our favorite um, snacks and treats. The first one we're going to duplicate is Drake's Coffee Cake. Every time I hear this, I think of that episode of Seinfeld. <laughs> Drake's Coffee Cake. Yeah, that scene. <laughs> so um, here in Canada, we cannot get these. Um, I got these on our last trip to the States in August and we took my mom back to the airport and Dave and I stayed overnight so we could do a little bit of back to school shopping and a little bit of um, grocery shopping. And they had these, so I grabbed one package of them and froze them. And I got to thinking, I could probably make these at home with a lot better, they're still a treat, but they're still better ingredients than probably what is in here. So today we are going to try and duplicate the Drake's coffee cake. So first, because um, any extra, um, my husband's probably gonna take to work and um, I don't like to bake and I'm giving it away for people with my hair down. So I'm gonna put my hair up and I gotta get my apron on. While I'm doing that, I will tell you the ingredients. So the crumb topping is a stick of butter, a third cup of sugar, a third cup of dark brown sugar, three-fourths teaspoon of cinnamon. I put like two teaspoons in. <laughs> um, a quarter teaspoon of salt, which I did not do because I, by mistake, grabbed my salted butter. So I just used that, but I didn't, um, so I didn't put the salt in. So if you're using unsalted butter, butter certainly add the salt. And uh, one and three-fourths cup cake flour. I don't have cake flour, but it's very easy to substitute. Um, so for every cup of all-purpose flour, you take out two tablespoons of that flour and replace those two tablespoons with cornstarch or arrowroot flour. I used, sorry, this is bothering me. <laughs> I used um, cornstarch because I'm all out of arrowroot flour, um, and that's how you have cake flour. So I've made my own today. My, the, the ingredients for the cake part, one and quarter cups of cake flour, a half a cup of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt, six teaspoons of butter, one egg, room temperature egg, my eggs are always room temperature, but one egg, room temperature, two tablespoons of plain Greek yogurt, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a third cup of buttermilk. So, and I just realized I used a quarter cup, so I gotta add a little bit more. A buttermilk is something Sorry, I'm trying to grab these things. Buttermilk is not something I always have on hand, but I make sure, which I have to get more, I get powdered buttermilk. And for, it's one cup of water to a quarter cup of buttermilk makes one cup of buttermilk. I only need a third cup, so I will freeze the rest of this, so I have it for Christmas baking. But this way, you don't ever have to worry about your buttermilk going bad. You also can freeze your buttermilk um, if you do buy it, you know, already made, you can freeze it and thaw it out and use it in your bacon too. So, okay, now we're gonna go down to the mixer. So in this bowl, I have my one and a quarter cup cake flour. I have my baking soda. I don't have any salt in it because again, I'm using the salted butter. So what is in here? Cake flour and baking soda. So we're gonna put that in. And we're gonna put a half a cup of our, it's a half a cup, right? Yep, half a cup of our sugar. I'm just going to give it a quick, okay, and this bowl I have six tablespoons of butter that's been melted, two tablespoons of plain Greek yogurt, my vanilla extract, and my third cup of buttermilk, and then I just took my immersion blender and blended it all up because it tells you to do that, <laughs> so, and we're going to pour that in with our dry mix. this up. Okay, that's it for the batter part. I'm just going to get this out of the way. Okay. Okay, so I already realized I made a mistake. 
the butter that went in here wasn't supposed to necessarily be melted. <laughs> it was just supposed to be softened. The butter for the crumb topping was supposed to be melted, which I didn't do. <laughs> I just made it soft. So yeah, that's my fault, but I don't think it's going to matter. It still looks like a really good batter. And I gotta tell you, it smells really good. Okay. So sorry, just, we just finished our renovation here. So I'm still trying to remember where all my stuff is. So we've mixed this up and you don't want to over mix it. That's very important. But yeah, it looks like a good cake batter. So I am not concerned that I melted the butter. Okay. I don't know if I told you, but my oven is preheated to 325 degrees and I have a greased um, muffin pan here. And I have my, I'm gonna use this size and we're just gonna, Says it makes 12. I'm not sure how big I'm supposed to. I want them like the size of what you would buy. But we'll see. I might end up doing two and two in each muffin and pint. And yeah, I think I am. say it looks exactly like the topping on the Drake's coffee cake so I'm just gonna use my hands I found it easier and we're just gonna sprinkle some on top seems like a lot here We are going to have quite a bit of this left over. I wonder if we would have as much if I had melted the butter instead of just uh, leaving it in soft pieces and, you know, making a crumble. So I hope these are going to come out. I've got a mess here. Okay, so 325 degree oven for 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes, turn it around and bake for another 11. So let's hope, fingers crossed, these come out. <laughs> So while those are in the oven, I'm just gonna take a few minutes to chat with you um, and let you know that in December, I am going to be part of, I better turn off that water, you probably can't hear that very well. I'm going to be part of two collaborations in December. Um, the first collaboration is December 7th with Darcy from Purposeful Pantry and it's uh, using things we dehydrated um, in the summer to use for Christmas gifts. So I've got two ideas I'm gonna be doing for that collab. And then December 28th, I know it's a long, it seems like a long time away, but it will be here before we know it. I am part of Dipsember um, with, from the Quis Inquisitive Farm Wife, um, who is hosting uh, that collaboration. Oh, my brain's just not working today. Um, to uh, talk about dips. And I'm gonna be making a dip that I've never made, but I've been wanting to for two years. And I figured this is the exact, exact uh, thing to get me off my butt and to make it. So um, look for those two collaborations uh, coming up in December. I'm really excited to be part of them. Now, one of my other tips I do when I am at, whenever I'm going to be baking, especially a big baking day, today is not a huge baking day by any means, but I always like to unload my dishwasher before. So everything that I'm using, I can just put right into the dishwasher when I'm done, which is what I, I was doing there for a few minutes after I put the uh, coffee cakes into the oven. And before I had a dishwasher, I would just make sure my sink was very empty and I would wash dishes as, I, as things were going. Um, it's something my uh, home ec teacher, Mrs. Hollowell, who um, taught us to wash, uh, to clean up as you go is so much easier and I've been doing it forever <laughs> and it's definitely easier. So just a little tip, you know, I find, um, I'm sure you all probably do it and I find it makes things a lot easier um, when you're planning. 
because um, I don't know about you, but when my kitchen is not clean and organized, I can't cook and bake because it drives me, it's just too chaotic. So I have quite a bit of that crumble left. Um, I think I'm gonna save it and either make another batch. I might make another batch right away. We'll see how these turn out. If they turn out, I'll probably make another 12. Um, and then um, and then I don't have to worry about freezing that buttermilk because I have just enough left actually for another. Um, so I think I probably will if these turn out okay. Um, if not, I think I'll freeze it and then I'll have some for uh, another batch that I'll probably be making in a couple of weeks. So, okay, we'll see, that, we'll see you when they come out of the oven. Okay, so they just came out of the oven. I did the 10 minutes, turned them, cooked them for another 11 and I thought, oh wow, these aren't done. But I just checked each and every one of them and my cake tester is coming out completely clean. So I guess they're done. Yep, completely clean. So we'll let them cool and I'll put them on a rack and then we will try them and see just how close to taste they, they are. I gotta say look wise, I'd say, hmm, but that could just be me because I, you know, did the topping wrong. <laughs> so, but we'll see what they taste like. Okay. So I let them cool for about five minutes and they popped out really good. I really greased that pan to make sure. I put some melted butter um, inside um, and then kind of swirled around. So here is the one I'm gonna try and here is Drake's. So I honestly think they use more cinnamon, so which I added more than the recipe called for, but I think it needs more. But it looks very, very similar. Now the question is, does it taste the same? So it's still a little warm, but I'm too anxious to try it. So here we go. So this is my Drake's Coffee Cape Coffee Cat. <laughs> oh my goodness. It tastes just like it. It tastes just like it. It definitely needs more cinnamon than the recipe's calling for. And I use two teaspoons. I think I'd almost go up to a full tablespoon. I really would. But man, that is delicious. I'm just gonna take another little bite. <laughs> that is so good. And honestly, this is one of the easiest recipes. It took me no time to make it. I'll definitely share the recipe down in the description box so you all can try these. These will be fabulous for Christmas morning when you're opening up your gifts. Wow. I'm going to stop eating because I don't want to talk with my mouth full. So there's the first of Cuppy Cat videos that I'm going to be doing. My next one, I'm going to go ahead and tell you just so you can be as excited as I am. I'm going to try and recreate Toaster Strudel. I loved Toaster Strudel as a child. Honestly, I love it as an adult. I haven't ate it in years because I know <laughs> how bad it is. And it's not a breakfast thing. It's definitely a dessert. Um, but they're so good. But I'm going to try and recreate them with puff pastry and my homemade jam. So I can make them healthier. Um, I know what's in my jam and what's not. And puff pastry. So really, and I think I think the kids might be a little excited to try that one too, because that's just something we have not bought in years. We don't we don't buy them. So that will be look out for that. That'll be my next copycat video. Until then, folks, take care. God bless you all. Be kind to each other, be kind to yourselves, and we'll see you all in the next video.